All right, so I've gone ahead and solid welded my entire tail, um, everything together. So if you haven't done that yet, you should. What you should have at the end of this is you should have your, your tube. It should be solid welded around the entire thing. So all the way up here, this whole seam, the top, the bottom, and both of the sides should all be solid welded. Solid weld this tail gusset in here, so one be the continuous length of this, and then also stitch weld this outside gusset on. So I have like three, three inch stitch welds, got the outside, the center, and the inside, and I've done the exact same thing on the other side. So if you haven't solid welded your tail, um, at the end of this video you should have all of these welds done. At this point your tail should be welded on solid, uh, your two triangular gussets should be welded in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually start solid welding the frame together. At this point, if you've followed the steps correctly, you should only have everything tack welded together. Reason for that is um, the more structure that you can add before you solid weld, the less the likelihood of it warping and getting out of square is. So after you have your tail on, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start welding the frame. And it's important we do this systematically from the outside in. Um, that way it just ensures that the whole bed stays square during this process. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the top seams of where our inner frame intersects with our outer frame and also intersects with our tail. So we're going to weld this seam, all of these seams all the way around. So, so this right here, right here, right here on the top, right here on the top, this top seam, this top seam, and where these pieces intersect with the tail, the top seam there as well. Once you have that done, um, we're going to do the same thing on the same joints, just on the side. So you're going to weld here on the back side, here on the back side, all the way around. And also in the corner um, where the side piece intersects with your tail, you can solid weld that seam as well, um, all the way around. Once you have all of your, um, your seams welded where the inner frame intersects with the outer frame and the tail, then we're going to move into the actual inner frame joints. And it's important to do this in the same order. So we're going to weld all our top seams first. Then we're going to move to the sides. So you just, after you have all your top seams welded, you weld the sides of all of them. And then once that's done, um, if you want to weld the bottom seams, that's optional. Um, I usually don't just because it gives a moisture a good way to escape. But um, just basically do it in that order. Make sure you weld from the outside in. Um, the top seams first before you do the side seams. That just keeps it from pulling it out of square. So you got a lot of welding coming up. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple fast mo clips of going around, not the whole thing, but um, just to be clear, every single seam on your frame, outer and inner, should be welded up by the end of this video. So at this point you should have all of your inner frame welded up, all, all of your seams on your frame, all of the seams where your, where your frame intersects your tail and your outer frame should be welded up at this point. The only thing that might not be welded up is your corners on the outside. This inside seam where this tail and the inside of this intersect should be welded. But now we're just going to weld up all the corners. So we're going to do a solid weld here and here. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do it on the front corner and then obviously we'll do it on both sides and then after that we'll move on to um, grinding off the corners. So I'm going to go ahead and solid weld this. You can do that, do the same on the other side, then we'll move to the front corner. Alright, so I've turned the bed around. Um, so this is the front passenger side corner up here. Um, just a couple tips on welding this up. So we're just going to solid weld this seam and this seam. Um, and also, if you haven't already, you need to weld the inside seam solid all the way down where, where these two come together. Uh, you might have already done that, but if you didn't, that needs to get done as well. The bottom doesn't need to be welded. It's also a good place for moisture to get out. So a couple of things I want to go over just to help you guys out is um, if you might, you might have a small gap right here for some reason. I ended up with a, with a gap. It's about a quarter inch wide. So you should have your welder turned up pretty hot to get good penetration, but just a tip on if you have a big gap, how to weld this up without melting it back and causing a huge mess. So basically what you do is you just tip your welder kind of almost parallel to the surface of, 
of the top of this and you weld about six or eight little islands, I like to call them, the length of this. And that way you have kind of a point to weld to every quarter inch or so and that keeps it from melting back and getting too hot. So I'm just gonna weld like six or eight islands and then solid weld it. And if you have a gap here, I got a little bit of a gap here, you can do the same thing. Do a couple dots really close to each other. Then you can go ahead and solid weld it the whole way. That just makes it easy to, uh, to get a nice weld that doesn't melt it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I got about 10 little dots. It makes your distance that you have to go um, a lot shorter and ideally it keeps it from melting this whole thing back. So I got a nice hot weld here. We're gonna grind that off here in the next video or so. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna dot it and uh, going down vertically and then solid weld it down. So again, your welder should be turned up hot. You need a really hot penetrating weld here because we're gonna grind off this corner. And if you don't have enough weld material that's penetrated into your metal, you're gonna grind it off and then maybe even make, a, make this really paper thin. Or you could, when you get it sandblasted, if you're gonna get it powder coated, it'll blast holes through this as this is gonna be really thin if you don't have enough weld material laid in here. So make sure your welder is good and hot, get good penetration and solid weld down this thing. So go ahead and repeat that for the other side and uh, then we'll go over grinding off these corners so you get a nice perfect grind edge.